Welcome viewers to the Fantasy Viz coverage on the second test of the two match series between India and New Zealand. Now before uh, I show you our Dream 11 team selection, uh, I will start off with looking at both the teams, uh, the team news, the venue, the weather update, uh, the probable lineups and the key players who should be a part of your Dream 11 team. So do stick around for our Dream 11 team combinations which can definitely make you win big prizes on Dream 11 as well as other fantasy websites. Now to give you some background, uh, the first test uh, at Wellington, India was completely outplayed in all the departments. New Zealand was practically on top of India in all the sessions of the match. India would definitely be hoping to level the series here in uh, Christchurch. Now uh, to uh, look at uh, uh, some um, ground and uh, pitch conditions, the match is being held in uh, Christchurch uh, at the Hagley Oval. Uh, the pitch is expected to be uh, similar in nature to uh, Wellington with the same, um, uh, same amount of green cover. The only difference being that the Wellington pitch had a bit of spongy bounce and the, the pitch over here in Christchurch will have the ball, uh, will have the, uh, ball coming on to the bat. Uh, so it would definitely be good for stroke playing apart from the first two days. I think the match, the, the, the pitch is definitely uh, will turn out to uh, be a ba batting paradise for the remaining part of the match. Now, uh, to give you some background, the last test match that was played on this ground against Sri Lanka uh, uh, in two, December 2018, Sri Lanka was bowled out uh, by New Zealand for, uh, sorry, New Zealand was bowled out by Sri Lanka for 178 in the first innings. Uh, then Sri Lanka was bowled out for 104 in the first innings. In the third innings, New Zealand scored 585 for 4. So which clearly shows that you know the pitch is going to assist the batsman in the later part of the match. So this is something that you should uh, duly take note of. That the, uh, the, the toss would definitely play an important role in this match. Uh, now, um, to give you some uh, uh, update on the head-to-head -head record, I think there's uh, nothing much to choose by. I think... Uh, 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 look at because I think uh, India ha is very uh, as you can see uh, in the head to head record India has uh, been very strong in their home conditions similarly New Zealand is strong in their home conditions uh, looking at the weather I think uh, there are, there's limited chance of uh, rain in the five days of the test match although the on the fourth day there's a slight chance of a shower but uh, uh, more or less we should expect uh, to have uh, the full game without any interruptions with the weather hovering around the 20s. Uh, now to now we move ahead to some team news. The, uh, uh, the first news is that uh, Ishan Sharma is likely to miss this match as uh, I think he, he, his ankle injury is, uh, uh, is, uh, is, uh, has a record. Uh, the other big news is that uh, Prithvi Shaw has a swelling in his leg uh, and he has missed his training sessions on Thursday. Although there has been no official statement from the Indian team yet, but it is likely that it, if he is not fully recovered, then Gil will get a chance instead of uh, instead of uh, Shaw. Uh, now for India, uh, the um, the other uh, probably uh, let me just finish off with the team news. The other team news is that Neil Wagner is. Uh, uh, fit to play the second match and would like all likelihood be uh, 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 be included in the playing 11. Now for uh, India, I think there are two uh, slots where the, wherein there might be some dilemma on who to pick. The first one being the wicketkeeper slot. But I think Pan did not do a lot, a lot of uh, uh, do anything wrong in the first uh, uh, test and I think India will likely persist with Pan. Uh, given the edge that he gives on the batting side uh, uh, compared to Saha. The second uh, slot is the spinner slot, uh, wherein there is a, uh, uh, where there is a chance that Jadeja might come in, but I, I, we don't think that is uh, likely. Uh, uh, or if Jadeja comes in, it would be a very, very defensive move. We think that uh, India should go in with the more attacking option of R. Ashwin, even though Ashwin did not uh, perform that well with bat in the test, but I think he definitely bowled well to for him to retain his spot in this particular test as well. For New Zealand, it would be interesting to see uh, what happens. Uh, uh, 
we uh, i i think kale jam uh, kyle uh, jameson uh, bowled really well in the first test taking four wickets in the f- uh, uh, in the first innings and with this crisis pick, uh, pitch not uh, uh, not helping spinners a lot i uh, our opinion is that uh, ajaz patel would make way for uh, wagner rest of the team is likely to remain the same now let's move towards uh, our uh, our key players i think uh, virat we start off with virat uh, I think Virat is a good pick in any team. He's a world-class player. He got uh, out uh, playing uh, loose shots in uh, both the innings, and would definitely want to bounce back in the second match. He has a very good record against New Zealand, and given the uh, given his class, I will be very very sure that he'll bounce back. The second name that we have is Chetishwar Pujara. He's obviously has a good overseas record, and uh, you know if the toss goes. India's ways we can surely expect Pujara to score a big one over here. The next name that we have is uh, Jasprit Bhumra. Now uh, Bhumra seems to be carrying her, the mental baggage of his performances in the ODI series uh, into this test match as well. But I think he is too intelligent a bowler to uh, to really analyze what has happened in the first match. Why was he not able to get uh, as much swing? Uh, uh as the uh, uh, uh as the new zealand bowler so we definitely think that he'll make a comeback in this particular match uh now looking at uh, a few names from new zealand we start off with kane williamson uh, no introductions there i think he's an obvious choice he looks in really good touch in the first match and i think he should be a, a definite pick in your team uh the next name that we have is Ross Taylor he's definitely enjoying a, enjoying a purple patch in his career he uh he was consistent in this ODI series and he got a, he he sco- he got a start at the first match we, which he definitely could not convert but yeah uh, we we definitely think that he'll be able to contribute in the second test the next two names that we have is the bowling pair the swing bowling pair of uh, New Zealand which is Tim Saudi and Trent Bolt I think they are the best picks on this particular wicket wherein the ball is expected to swing a lot in the last match in this venue against Sri Lanka this pair got 14 from the 20 wickets so they are obvious picks from our side now next we move on to the value players I think the first name so now these value players are essentially some some players who should you should you who you should pick in your team to give you that edge against the other teams in the leagues the first name that we have is Shubman Gill he is an amazing uh, talent and if shaw shaw does not recover in time i will definitely see him slotting in uh, slotting uh, uh, into this match to give you some background i think uh, uh, shubman gill was a part of the india a side and they played a match a month back on this same venue and he got scores of 204 and 83 so he knows the venue very well he looks to be in very very good touch and we think that he is uh, definitely a very good pick in your side the next name that we have is mayank agarwal i think mayank agarwal uh, as a opener has got good starts in both the innings in the first match and he was the only batsman in indian lineup who looked comfortable in new zealand batting conditions at all so he he would definitely slot in into our team the next name that we have is henry nichols now i think henry nichols uh, we've chosen him for two reasons one uh, the first reason is his consistent performance in the odi series wherein he's got a lot of uh, good scores uh, between 50 and 100 uh, and the next reason is in, in the last test match that was played on this particular ground uh, in 2000 december 2018 against sri lanka he scored 162 so he knows the ground really really well and he knows new zealand batting conditions really really well the next player that we have on our list is uh, colin de grandhom i think uh, he we we always pick him uh, i think he's he's very good in swinging conditions and he can contribute with the bat and the ball so he should definitely be a part of your team now i'll show now we'll show you some of our uh, 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 dream 11 uh, combinations that te- team fantasy versus uh, 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 has selected uh now these combinations will definitely help you be- win big on the dream 11 platform but we would definitely want to tell you that uh, please do follow uh, our recommendations on the key players and the value players if you are playing on any other platforms to win big prizes uh the two combinations that we have selected uh, i think in the first combination we have gone on, gone with uh, williamson and bolt and we are just assuming that in this particular combination new zealand wins the toss elects to bowl and you know bolt 
goes all out against the Indian lineup, and then Williamson in the second innings comes and scores a big one. So uh, this is definitely uh, uh, the team. If uh, New Zealand wins the toss, the second team that we have is essentially when uh, 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 India wins the toss. We are backing uh, Kohli over here, but uh, you know New Zealand uh, Williamson being a world class player. He can slot in into any team and we've kept in as a vice captain. Uh, we are obviously going with the four quakes in both the teams. We are keeping CDG as an all-rounder in both the teams. I think uh, one change in both the teams is the wicketkeeper, uh, Pant and uh, uh, Blundell. And the second uh, change that we have is uh, you, you can either pick Gil or Vihari. Uh, now I have picked uh, Gil in, the, uh, in team two because we are assuming India to win the toss and... Uh, uh, Gil, uh, Gil, Gil, as as we've already pointed out, has a very good record at this particular ground. I think uh, that's it from uh, Team Fantasy Wiz for now. All the best, guys, for this match, and hope you win big after following our tips. Please do subscribe to our channel, and for more updates on other upcoming matches, do press the like button if you like. Uh, uh, do press the subscribe button and do press the like button if you like this particular video. Thank you for watching the video.